Welcome back. I think everyone remembers all the wind we saw over the weekend mm -hmm. and this is even a little bit stronger or will be as we go throughout the day. Yeah, out and throughout the day and into tonight. So last weekend we saw gusts were gusts upwards of about 35. Mm -hmm. We could see gusts upwards of 45 today. So luckily the Cherry Blossom Festival isn't set up downtown right now or else those tents might be halfway to Warner Robins by the end of the night tonight. But it's right now not all that bad in Macon. Southerly wind, 13 miles an hour, gusting upwards of 20. But we'll look at the wind gust map here in just a second and you'll see that some stronger gusts are on the way. Closer to 80 now in Warner Robins. In fact, already up to 81 there in Dublin, 79 in Warner Robins. And here comes the warmer air from the south that we are going to be seeing throughout the day today. This is the wind gust map. Notice the highest gust down towards Columbus Cordial. That's all moving northward, so that's the heavier stuff that's going to be moving in tonight. And then notice back out into Alabama, all of the bright colors you see out there. Those are some stronger wind gusts as well. Those are moving towards central Georgia ahead of the front. So we do have a wind advisory in effect until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning for gusts upwards of 45 miles an hour across central Georgia. So that's what we'll be on the lookout for before the front arrives. This is all before the rain arrives tomorrow morning. So speaking of rain, there is nothing on our radar shot right now across central Georgia. You head out to the west, though. Hello. There's a few tornado warnings, a tornado watch for parts of Arkansas, Louisiana. This is the front that's sliding towards central Georgia. And in fact, today out west is a level four severe weather day, parts of Mississippi and Alabama. That's out there, though. Notice we're right here on the edge, a level two, a level one. The reason why it stops there is because this outlook goes until 7 a.m. tomorrow. So in a minute, we'll check out tomorrow's outlook and you'll see that we don't have the same kind of severe weather threat that they're looking out to the west, but nonetheless, a front still moving into central Georgia as we head through the overnight hours tonight. So let's check it all out on future view. Here we go into the afternoon. Hello, 80s. Yeah, that southerly wind bringing in those uh, tropical temperatures, if you will. And then here we go into 1 a.m. Here's the front coming across the Georgia state line on our doorstep by about 5 a.m. Notice it's a little more broad, not as bright colors that you're seeing in this and so it's weakening as it comes into central Georgia. The thing that's going to get us though is that it's going to be moving right through our most populated areas making Warner Robins, Milledgeville, Eatonton right as you head out the door Thursday morning. So a windy rainy morning across central Georgia and then whatever storms we do see will be out of here by about the one two o'clock hour and we'll move down towards the coast. So the again the severe weather threat would be with that line coming through and that's why we are all in a level two risk. Actually it looks like this has been updated. So again kind of where we were that cutoff line has been updated and that's based on timing. But for the most part, all of us in a level two risk for the threat of damaging winds and maybe a brief spin up tornado. But really, the risk of that is not all that great. Once we get past that and into the weekend, we're mostly dry on Friday. You might remember last weekend, it looked like Saturday might be a little wet. That has since backed off. So into next week we go. It doesn't look like our next rain chance arrives until about the middle parts of the week. This is Tuesday. Not a ton of agreement between the models there. So we're going to have to figure that one out. As we head through the day today, middle 80s across the area 85 by 4 and 5 p.m. today. I do think 84 is about as high as we're going to get though. It's not impossible to reach 85, especially down to the south, but those gusts upwards of 35 to 45 miles an hour. 63 tonight with the storms arriving. Sunset is at 753. Here comes the seven day and there is some cooler air for April Fool's Day. April begins on Friday and then steadily warming back to 80 by next Tuesday.